Good morning, Scorpions and Scorpion families. It's Miss Fitzpatrick here again with another one of our Scorpion Speaker Series. And today I am here at the Truckee Meadows Fire Department number 45 with Captain Scott Stevenson. Thank you for being here today. Oh, you're very welcome. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Thank you. So how long have you been in the fire world? I've actually 31 years this summer in May. Wow, that's a long time. It is. So how did you get into it? Did you always want to be a firefighter? You know what? I think I did. My dad and my uncle were both police officers, and it was just, I think, in my blood. I uh, didn't necessarily want to be a policeman, but the fire stuff just really intrigued me. I became a volunteer firefighter uh, while I was still in high school, and that kind of segued into being a seasonal firefighter with Oregon Department of Forestry, and then here, Nevada Division of Forestry, and then that helped me get into uh, the all-risk side, which is what our fire department is. We do everything, so it's called an all-risk fire department. And here I am. I mean, that sounds like a cool journey. So did you, I mean, what was the schooling like? Is there a fire academy, or what does that look like? There is, and it's a lot different nowadays than it was when I got hired. Uh, I was a volunteer, like I said, then a seasonal. And then I went to a fire academy when I was hired full time. Um, all I had was a, a graduated high school. Not all that I had, that's quite an accomplishment, but uh -huh. uh, I had to have that to get in. Mm -hmm. You had to have no uh, formal schooling after that. Everything was on the job. Okay. And, and so how is that different from now? Now you pretty much have to be a paramedic or at least an EMT advanced uh, to get your door or get in the door of the fire service. Interesting. It is. Well, thank you so much for the work that you guys do every day. It's so important and so important to this community. So we really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for saying so. <laughs> and so I know you guys respond like when we call 911 or if there's a fire. What else do you guys do? We do anything that anybody calls us for. We, okay. go to, we still go to cats and trees, believe it or not. Do you really? We go to water <laughs> leaks. We go when somebody's battery in their smoke detector is going off. Oh. Um, anything that somebody can't figure out themselves, they call the fire department, and we're problem solvers, and we try and go help them out. <laughs> and you fight fires here, but you also go help in California. We just had that giant fire in California. Absolutely. We, have, we had a ton of folks on that. Um, yeah, we're the county fire department, so we have 11 stations, and we are all the unincorporated areas of Washoe County. So we're not in the city of Reno or the city of Sparks, but we're everywhere else in the county. So we go to all the, the wildland fires, the structure fires, the car accidents, the medical emergencies, the hazmat, everything that happens in those areas. In the summertime, when we have the big fires, and in the fall, when California is burning down mm -hmm. south, yeah. We get called and go to those as well. And then we have a lot of members of our fire department are members of uh, other teams and stuff that go out and fight those big wildland fires. Do you have any cool stories you want to share with our students and families? Oh gosh, there's so many stories. I, I try and forget, years, I try and forget most of them. <laughs> I think the, the best, it's not really a story, but the best thing I can share with you is the feeling that I felt when I walked in the door as a brand new firefighter 31 years ago, whenever a new firefighter walks in the door here, I feel that with him or her, and it just makes me feel good. And do you have any advice for our scorpions? Stay in school. If you want to be a firefighter, there's a solid path when we're at your school to talk to you. You can ask us about that, and we will give you the path that it takes to become a firefighter. Really cool. Now, you said you'll be at our school. So on May 11th, they'll be at our school. And will you have swag or anything like that for our kiddos? We will. We'll get a bunch of stuff <laughs> that we can hand out. And we'll have fire engines there, maybe an ambulance. Um, and we'll we'll talk with you, kick a ball around, whatever you want to do. It's going to be so fun. Now, I've heard, and hopefully you can tell me if this is true, because some of our scorpions have asked me this question before. If they are in the area and they feel like they're in danger, can they come here and ring that doorbell outside? Absolutely. And get home? That doorbell says ring for emergencies, and that means any emergency, if you feel like you're threatened or in trouble or something's going on that you can't control, please come to the fire station and ask for help. Thank you.
Thank you so much, and we'll see you later today. Okay. So the, we'll have the fire team in, outside in the quad today. Go see them, say hi, and hang out. Ask them any questions, or maybe they'll just throw the football with you. See you guys later. Bye, Scorpions. <laughs>